Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I already did my foundation and eyebrows off camera. I just did it off camera because I used my regular Bear With Me by NYX and my Urban Decay brow blade. I just used those two as usual, along with the concealer that I always use. If you want more detailed video on how I do this up to this point. I'll leave a link to my other videos down below. But today, if you are joining because you saw my last video, then you know what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how I got to that look in this video. I went to Target, as you know, if you're from the last video. If not, hey, welcome to my channel. I do videos on, well, I'm getting ready to start doing different types of videos, but so far I've done beauty videos and a Target haul, but now I'm getting ready to move into doing still beauty videos in fashion and stuff like that, but it's still gonna um, have, I'm gonna incorporate cooking videos as well next, and then other things coming up in the future, but for now, that's where we're going. So in this video, I went to Target bought a couple things and I mentioned them in the last one that I will show you in this video what how I thought I mean what I thought about them how I use them so we're gonna get started on that um, I'm dying to try sorry <laughs> I had to fix that um, I'm dying I have been dying to try these because next on well, my face, I'm gonna do my concealer. So I've been dying to try these Neutrogena concealers, liquid concealers, and I got three of them. But in this video, I'm gonna use it to conceal under my eyes and everything. So I think I'm going to use this darker one. Cause I'm gonna use this one for like when I'm want like a brighter look, but for now, I'm just gonna use this one. These are by Neutrogena. These are the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Radiant Cream Concealer in Pecan Medium Deep 2. That's this darker shade. And then the other one is Golden Medium Deep. I don't know, that Golden Medium Deep. I wanna try it, but I'm gonna go with the darker one. It's got a nice little wand to it too, if you can see that kind of flat on the sides but I like that those are like my favorite kind that's why I love the Fenty concealer okay it's going on very nice easy not a lot on the applicator which is good for me because I don't put a whole lot of concealer that out now I'm done with my eyes for now I'm not going with a lot of color that's actually all the color I'm doing up here because I really wanted to focus this video on the products that I got so we're gonna do that focus on those so I'm just gonna blend it out with my Sonia cash shook it's been damp ready and it really grows like this thing was so small and it's really like anyway let's see how this blends out to dry a little bit too much. Well, I'm 
think it out nice. Very natural like. Still like skin. I like it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to use the Radiant Cream Concealer in Espresso Deep 3 to contour my face. I usually use um, a stick, foundation stick to contour, but I wanted to switch it up a little bit because I feel like in the summer I want something lighter. And this, from what I've seen, seems to be a little bit lighter on the, like, on the skin, so I'm going to go with this. And it is, it doesn't seem dark enough. Seems like it's a little too light for my face. Well, go on with it. I already got it on. That's not doing anything for me. But. And I never use cream contour for the contour part. Never. But first time for everything. Let's see. I don't know. We'll see. No, it's not dark. It's not. I thought it was going to be too light, but it seems to be fine. Y'all see it? So actually, it's coming out more natural than the Bobbi Brown stick that I usually use. So. <laughs> Okay, so now that my face looks ridiculous, um, I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Artisan Baked Bronzer. I've never really used a bronzer before, but this one is in Ginger Snap, and it just looks like that. And I don't know, this is how it's packaged. It just seems like it has too much shimmer in it for me. I don't know what bronzers will do, to be honest, but I'm just saying, it just seems like highlighter but we're gonna try it because I bought it so that's what it looks like there and I figure if I'm gonna try one I might as well try a cheaper one so that if I do like bronzer I'll go ahead and purchase like a good one but see no this is mm -mm. this is highlighter I'm not about to be out here shining all over my face I didn't even put enough to be noticeable. I'm just putting enough to say that I used it. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, no, see this is highlighter. Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to highlight on my cheekbones. I'm still.
but I will try it. So here it goes. That's it for me, cause that's mm, it's too much. I don't like that. In my with my normal Laura Mercier the translucent glow powder, so I could um have a little extra highlight, especially since my eyes are so basic today. So this is the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I've heard so much about this, like especially from Aaliyah J. She always uses this and this is in black and I've seen a lot of YouTubers use it and I just wanted to try it because NYX has not failed me since I've been um, purchasing from them. So I'm just gonna try it out. That is what the packaging is like. And I have a time getting it open, but let's see. Okay, so that is what it looks like there. Sleek, black, simple. If I can get it out. There we go. Okay, so very thin, which is good because I try to keep my eyeliner thin. And I'm just gonna move in closer so that I can get a good look at what I'm doing. That is black. I love that. Okay, so that is that's I thanks. When I say y'all don't y'all never fail me, I do not let me tell you. I do not do eyeliner because I cannot do it. Like I like the look without the liner. I don't know, but this, like I wear eyeliner mostly like um, at night and I will use my Fenty Fly Liner, which is like that. Same kind of situation, but I don't know. It's just easy for me, but I took my time and did this one really slow because I'm not used to using a liquid liner, but I can use that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. But this is really good. <clears throat> I definitely recommend this. Okay, 
I also don't change up my blushes very often. I keep getting the same ones, but just a different one. It's the Fit Me by Maybelline and it's in the shade 45 and it's a blush. So yeah. I do not like changing my stuff because if I know something works, I am not trying to be out here trying different stuff and spend my money on stuff. If I know it works, it works. Like until I'm trying to go for something specific and different, then I'll do something else. But right now, it looks like it's gonna be ashy. It is ashy. I'm gonna cry, y'all. I'll just tell you right now. It is, mm -mm. I can't even see it on my skin. Okay, so. I mean, I guess it makes it natural, but I see it a little bit, but not a lot. And I don't be trying to do a lot of blush, as y'all should know by right now, so. try them on for y'all and um see because I feel like now that I did this blue to my eyes y'all know I want to go very very basic but I'm going to try and not go as basic as I want to but I'm gonna try maybe the basic is I'm gonna try the most basic one. So I'm just gonna line my lips with my normal wet and wild brown pencil. First, this is gonna be the Budapest color of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I'm just gonna go in with that. So that's just what it looks like there with the name on the bottom. 
but that's what it looks like. They all have that same little felt applicator and it's thick, but hmm, I'm scared. Let's see. I like it. <laughs> Okay, that's what one, I only dipped it the one time. So I took it out and put it right in my lip. Yeah. I like that one. It's not real bright. I was scared it's gonna be bright because it's it's pretty. I might use that one for my next video. I like that one. Okay, so the next color I'm going to try. I'm gonna try the two mattes that I have first, and this one is in Monte Carlo. Very red shade like that with the name on the bottom again as usual same applicator and my brown again as usual I probably should have put my clothes on so that I could actually see them, but my clothes make me biased towards their color. I don't know if that's just me or everybody does that, but my clothes make me biased. So I wouldn't have been able to actually see if I like the colors if I have my clothes on because if it doesn't match my outfit, then I'm not wearing it on my lip. Um, my eyes, I really don't care if it matches or not, to be honest. I wear whatever color my eyes, my lips, that's different. Everything has to be able to come together. So, I'm going to put the butter gloss on top of it. It's called Apple Crisp. And it's a red shade because this is going to be matte. And I always have matte. And I want to, this is the whole reason why I bought these two together. Because I want to try them together. I never have a glossy red lip if I ever have a red lip. So, let's see. I changed the color a little bit. But not much. And that would just keep it from getting matte. Mm. Yeah, my teeth look nice. Mmm, <laughs> that is very red. But it's nice for basically drugstore, but nits. I mean, that's good. I like it. Okay, this one is the Butter Gloss and it's in Eclair. Same thing with the name on the bottom. Probably can't see it because it's showing my face, but either way, it says Eclair. Let's just see. Oh. Um, 
Good lord. I gotta put some lime on there. Already see that. That's what it looks like. Now that's not bad. But I probably won't use this other than to put it on top of something else. Because I don't know. I mean, it's nice, but yeah, I think I'd rather it on top of something. Not just by itself. And definitely not without lip liner. Yeah, any lip liner, for sure. I'm going to try it. It's called Praline, and that is what it looks like there. The packaging, name on the bottom. Cool. So let's see. This one I can use any day. Okay, so I just went in and lightly lined my lips. I didn't really line it too much, but I just wanted to see what it looks like with it. Cause it looks good without it. It's not many things I'll put on my lips without lip liner, but this could be one of them. I like that. I like that with these eyes too. You know what? I'd probably like it if I had this with it. Mm -hmm. That one is between Praline and Budapest. These are probably my favorite too. The red is really nice too. Um, this one not so much. I don't love it. I mean, I'll, like I said, I'll put it on top of something else. But this is a look. Okay, so I'm back. This is the finished look. I just threw on some clothes real quick and some earrings because hopefully I have to run out soon. Um, this is the finished look. I think I am gonna go in and put some of praline on top of this lip. I really like this concealer. So as far as everything goes, the concealer, this is some good concealer. It like, I use my same Fenty as I normally use to set everything, but that concealer is bomb. I'm gonna put this on top of this because I do kind of want it to have a little shine today. Yeah. Make sure it's already on. And that just look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I like you. 
I like this. So yeah, this is the finished look. Um, trying to get my hair to do what I want it to do, but it is so not, but it's okay. It's good enough. But if you like this video and wanna see more like this, just make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Um, but yeah. This is the look. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna go because I either, I'm probably gonna try and do one more video today. If not, I'll do another one, but either way, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and y'all have a good day. Thank you for joining me again. And thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and supporting me. It, I really appreciate it. And it does motivate me to do more. When I see y'all commenting and liking my video and watching it, it makes me want to go and just record another one right now. Like, seriously, like I do that. So uh, thank you again. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please don't forget to like this video because it lets me know what kind of content you guys like. So make sure you're liking it and I will catch you on my next one. Bye.